really know how much time uh, I don't really know like uh, how much time I got for this. So let's just see how it goes. Hey there, everyone. This is Raukia FPI, FPI 2. Yes, TSRP 2. Let's go to Area 16B. It's you know the area that you find on Location 16B. It's still on 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 the area. 16B. No, but still on, like, you know, the, the oil rig, except, you know, this time they are mushrooms and bubbles. I don't know why there are bubbles in this rig. Doesn't seem like a very good one, if you ask me. But, you know, and there, there's enemies in the bubbles, too. They're not just purely bubbles. You know, it's not just like Bubble Man going on. It's more of a Burst Man kind of thing. And here you can fall in the shop. Because I have a cape, I can go, like, all in the segment silo there. Now there's water. I guess this is where they filter the oil out of the water or something. I, I obviously obviously understand uh, the deep sea mechanics of uh, this uh, laundromat here. So, you know, there's a guy there. It's pretty great. Can you go through the pipes? I don't think so. So I guess we just gotta jump around and watch out for all the critters. Uh, like this little forest critter that somehow got lost and ended up in a sea of puddle. And oh, it's a bridge building segment. Those are always so great and, 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 and incredible and also pretty great. And also incredible, but you know only sometimes. So let's go up this uh, diagonal sort of construct here. I mean, you gotta build a bridge to get here, so I'm assuming it's the better path as I am Cali you know, just kind of, uh, whoa, slow down out of freaking nowhere there, buddy. Uh, you know, I forgot what I was saying, but I certainly said it. Now where am I going? I, oh, I kind of lost my way here, unless, well, and I mean, it's a big old super difficult jump that I am not going to make, and I guess I know, it's just for the sake of the demonstration, let's take all the pathways, and now I cannot go back up there if... Really? 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 Well, well, we just built a bridge there, it's pretty great. You know, you'd think some people would go through, like, entire, like, devoting their lives to engineering and stuff in order to construct a bridge. Well, no, you know, if you got a plumbing license, you just kind of have to jump a whole lot and slide into porcupines sometimes. Hey, guy, you're turning around because you have yellow shoes. Koopas, their brain is entirely constructed out of inside their feet. Like, we assume it's in the head because that seems to... Whoa, there, Shell Man. Because that seems to be the standard for most animals that we know. But, uh, you know, a Koopa is not something you'd encounter in the woods. So perhaps it is not constructed exactly as you'd think. Sure makes it complicated though when you're going to the doctor. You gotta remove your shoes all the time. But at the same time, in that sense, it wouldn't make sense because you know, as critters, we've evolved to protect our feet, but not our head. They are left outside, you know, like that. Uh, very, very, um, you know, open to the environment, you could say. You think we, we, we try to protect our heads more, but no, we're very casual about the nature of our head. My head is made of flesh, and there's bone in it too, and you know, there is a brain inside sometimes, and now we're jumping on a spike. <laughs> I literally jumped on a spike. I kind of, uh, you know, figured out that I think I need Yoshi to get up to a place somewhere. Wow, there's a Yoshi somewhere in this? Oh, <laughs> well, wow, that's kind of dangerous, dude, ma'am, pipe, no, yes, no, no, no pipes today, no pipes today, Mr. Koopa, but this pipe, perhaps, no pipes in the pipes, but sometimes is a maybe, oh, uh, where are we going now, I guess we're in the part that has a cloud, okay, so, you know, there's clouds, and there's a cloud, and also spikes, but most of the cloud, there's a lot of spikes there, what is the construct of these spikes? Why are they here, and why are some of them moving in this oil rig? The true nature of this nature is truly mesmerizing and kind of confusing at the same time. I suppose one can be both. Whoa! Taking unnecessary chances just because we can. You know, in... what? Okay. In, in the realm of people playing the videos for the internet, a lot of people don't seem to realize that a cloud like I was above you. But yeah, like I was saying, a cloud that you find casually outside, just floating there, will, uh, oh no, oh no, ah, oh, come on, will last eternally, basically. It's only when you rob a cloud out of the lack of two directly 
that you need to wonder about its um, expiration date. I don't know why that is, I'm pretty sure no one will ever, like, canonically find a reason for that. It's just how it goes. Maybe Lakitu's are not very good at maintaining their clouds, and, um, you know, after a while they get used up and they gotta be replaced, but at the same time, like, why would a cloud fresh from nature be be less used up? I'm not too sure. I, I do not know the mechanics of a cloud. Like, I barely know the mechanics of a car, and that's, like, a lot less complicated uh, mechanically, because, no, you got all, all you gotta deal with in cars is, like, gears and pipes and whatnot, and with a cloud you're dealing with, like, water molecule, and that's just way too high technology for my, my understanding. So that was the cloud section between spikes and all, they were very purple. That's how you know it was very serious as a prank. So here we are doing little tiny jumps, but I'm worried because there's like, ew, infrastructure problems here and also a fish. So when you got fish coming out of your pipelines, that you can sort of be aware that perhaps you're having some kind of problem going on. Whoa! Risky nation! Oh no! I knew that was a mistake. I mean, I clean risky nation, but this level, this part actually is like burning building and that really all you have to do is wait to make sure all the danger goes away and then before you know it you're gonna be safe <laughs> that's pretty much all there is to it uh, and statement there yeah uh, that, that that was a very very pleasant level especially after the so-called burning building now you might notice that there is somewhat of a big sphere quality about this particular dot. It's something we might explore in the future, but before, let's go to the reality base. No, this is the very basis of reality. Uh, a ghost, and uh, turtles walking around, and a free feather right at the start of the level. That's worrisome like bananas. Whoa! So, uh, spikes, and also spikes, and also, you know, sharp things, just kind of... Yeah, I guess we're going inside the base now. It's filled with blue blocks for some reason. I'm going to bounce around. No, I'm not. Okay, watch out. So why is this called the reality base, you might be wondering yourself. E uh, what? I was not spinning with enough forces and with enough torque, perhaps. That Koopa sure is a jumper. And then he destroyed himself, and then I destroyed him. It is. Uh, whoa, the nature of a truly friendly family. I think, yeah, it's... The challenge here sometimes is determining what exactly is solid and what is less so. Uh, I mean, also, you know, uh, slightly just kind of teetering on the edge of things and uh, not quite making jumps that are relatively simple and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, simple stuff like that. You know, stuff we all know about. Like a free mushroom at the top of the world. Is there any... No, yeah, these are walls. I keep forgetting that these are walls. I guess I'm going to keep this so long, I don't know. Wah. Wah. Oh, I guess so, if I want to be able to make it here, you know, make it in the real world. Hey there, spinning ghost! You are all together and spinning in a circle. What a beautiful piece of music. It's it's visual music. Uh, mistakes were made by myself and jumps. No, the jumps didn't make a mistake, but I, why did I do that? I wanted to be all showy and I paid the price. Oh, this situation isn't as difficult as it seemed. Just do that, it's like whoopsie doodle, and then uh, you just panic a whole lot. Yeah, probably, yeah, there we go, and then I can go, hello there guy, you got a face. So, hee 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 hee, let's not fall. Okay, hey, boo laser, you are fantastically in the way, deliciously. Hey there guy, oh, I wanted to give you a little gift of a box, but... That will be for another time. So by my calculations, yeah, you're you're always safe-ish when you are, you know, in a safe area, surprisingly. Who would have, who, who would have imagined? So yeah, the lasers there, you know, the, the boo beams there. That's the thing, they're impressive, but they're not that dangerous. As long as you always remember to take your time and... Oh god, bullets, however, those are a completely different pair of gloves. Um... Okay, so I gotta swim with my head uh, somehow. <laughs> oh, come on, you know, I, I gotta jump directly in the bullets all the time. It's just, I cannot help it. Uh, a bullet? That's not a bullet, that's an eerie. That is, you know, cosmetically ch oh. Ah! 
Uh, let's give this another try. I wonder if holding this will help me at least here. Yes, it will, actually. Oh. Okay. Not here, though, and then I lose it regardless. Um, and, uh. Okay, so I gotta be... Uh, Dirk Boring Kabwing. That's what I gotta do. So I gotta recall what holds what, so, and, but that's a normal bullet. So here, if I just kinda hurry and kinda safe fish, that won't fire if I'm close. But I don't know what it'll fire, so I'm just gonna hurry re Oh no! I uh, don't think I should be following them so close, but that this... I'm not safe here, I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, no, oh, I'm feeling my fingers tiring, and so it's getting harder to repetitively tap my jump button there, but okay. Uh, hopefully this is the last of that area, and we'll be able to make it... Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> that was up with that thing. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Now we're swimming completely. Why is the reality based on the water? I guess uh, reality, you know, uh, heats up a lot, and so they've chosen, you know, water-based cooling system in order to keep the reality from overheating. I suppose I can respect that, but very inconvenient for the likes of me. Alright, so, uh, what is going on? Where are there spikes everywhere? You know, reality is very pointy. Everyone will know that. Everyone uh, also knows that. There's this dragon point up there, or is it the pathway? It's the pathway. Well, okay, well, I've already missed Dragon Coin, so whoop de doo da day that turtle there, he's flying on the water, it's pretty good. Well, you know, flying and um, swimming require very similar motion. I recall that the way a penguin flies is very similar, uh, swims, rather, is very similar to how another bird would fly and, and stuff like that. So you know the way a doggy paddles when he does a doggy paddle? That's how a doggy would fly. It's very important to note that that's the end. The midpoint is like way at the end there. Um, the second half is a lot shorter than the first one. That's kind of odd, but okay, I'm not gonna complain. Instead, we can all see me fail miserably at this little game here. The little game we like to call life that I have somehow managed to not fail, actually. I... Oh wait, I'm supposed to get flowers, not mushrooms. How? <laughs> I... <laughs> I got mushrooms because that what I that was what I was aiming to get. Why I thought that was what I should aim to get, I'm not too sure. I think I'm getting tired a little bit here, and I think I reckon maybe that means I should be doing something else right now. This is Al Cal playing the second reality project too. Next no, next time we're gonna be going to gravity control for some reason. This is gonna wait until the Ender Gamer. Because, yeah, spoiler, because the circle is big, it's actually meaningful in this game. So, see you guys next time.